In this episode, oranges, asparagus, ball buster, the music tobacco shop, the ricotta cannolo, and the womanizing poet. This is the plateau of Kamuti, west of Bineo. Today it is surrounded by silence and the path for cows and sheep. Once upon a time, there was a village of prehistoric huts and Sicilians. It is said that there was at the top a huge stone that had magical or better wisdom powers. Kamuti stone, the stone of poetry. The centuries pass and the stone of wisdom it seems was found inside the property of Paolo Maura that a little like the lamp of Aladdin brought out the genius. Not rubbing the stone, but resting our butt on it. Not really him, but his mother when she was pregnant of him. And that's how arose the legend that if a pregnant woman had said on it, the child would have been born with literally virtues, poet, writer, musician. In short, Paolo Maura became a poet and around the wise stone of Camuti district was created a sort of cultural circle. True or false, a certain fact is that Mineo has a kind of source of wisdom that has always existed. Here we are in Mineo, eastern Sicily. They immediately give us a nice bag of blood oranges from the area, one of the best and most famous in Sicily. Mineo is a town with a glorious past, as demonstrated by several of its buildings, including the superb Jesuit convent, just behind the Adenolfo Gate. And where there were many priests, there was a lot of fervor. Jack Jack Fly or drone follows us from the top, ready to grab some prey for smashing Sicily. You see the one on the statue? The mother had to sit on the stone of poetry in Camuti when she was pregnant. And she had to stay quite a while, since the statue represents one of the greatest Italian writers of all time, Luigi Capuana, the womanizing poet. Women and poets, you know, have always gone hand in arm, Often the girls were the inspiration of unrequired love. But in the case of Luigi Capuana, they were proven achievements. Here we are also under the statue of Capuana, in the central square. Two elders and a man selling fruit. They will be ours. Hello, what are these? Wild asparagus are picked up in the countryside. Give me a bunch. Sure. Me ne da uno. Quanto costa? How much is it? Five euro. <laughs> a frittata. No. How do I prepare it? A omelette. Lei che faceva? Io e pastore. Il pastore. What did you do? The shepherd. I carried the milk in the village with the goats, knocked on the doors and milked the sheep. Then there were the bins. I've heard that goat heart are smarter than shepherds. Let's say that the goat is cleaner. But what is better, the sheep or the goat? <laughs> For me, the sheep, the goat for me. What is your name? La Torres Agrippino. La Torres Agrippino. Here you are all called Agrippino. It's the saint of the village. My last name is La Torres. La Torres. Holy cow, a Spanish name. Perhaps you are a descendant of the ancient Aragonese who came to Sicily. Are you noble? No. Che cosa mangiate? Oggi che cosa mangiate? 
What are you eating today? Pasta with sauce and some wine. Italian Communist Party. Hello, are you all communist here? Well, well, we kill some time. What do you think of Luigi Capuana? He was a womanizer, along with his buddy Giovanni Verga. We play cards. The flag of Sicily. Let's see who won this game. Questa partita l'ha vinta E, P, E, una finita pari. Those were the megaphones to announce a statement to the population. Here we are all called Agrippino or Pino because the saint is Saint Agrippina. I'm 88 years old. What did you used to do? The farmer. At what age did you start working? At 10 years old. And on Saturday and Sunday, you went to the disco? Oh, what are you saying? Just working, that's it. Where did you meet your wife? E come ha fatto quando l'ha conosciuta? Ci è andato. Here, we eloped. And where did you take her? Sa fu io. È un sacco di Agrippino, la ringrazio. Una cosa le volevo chiedere. La sua in. What is your nickname? I don't have any. Yes, you have one, I'll tell you. Che c'è di Ball buster. Because you busted balls to everyone. Okay, Jack. Let's take our walk again. Smoke comes from his school in a perfect fast style. Our guide tells us that that one is a poet. Here I made 500 poems on Mineo. So your mother said on Camuti's stone when she was pregnant? Yes, sure. Let's continue our walk. Mineo is rich in noble palaces and narrow alleys. This is the Via Orologio del Sole. Perhaps because once there was a sundial. Here it is, the home of Paolo Maura, the progenitor of the Camuti stone. His was the first pregnant mother to sit on the stone of the poem, remember? A great Rococo style portal. Here is another noble family of the place. A house with clothes hanging. Let's see if this time we guess who they belong to. In my opinion, two men and a woman live there. Eh, secondo me ci abitano due uomini e una donna. Ho sbagliato. E quanto, qual è la risposta esatta? Wrong. Two men and two women. Darn it. We made a mistake. We were very close. Here we are back in the square. Luigi Capuana is always up there, watchful on the village. What is this music? The tobacco shop puts some music and we're all cheerful. What a strange thing. Let's go see. Today is the 167th year of the state police and I celebrate it. Listen, but is it true? The story of the Camuti stone? We all have it in our DNA. Are you also a poet? In my own little way. Smashing local. Coming to Mineo is a nice idea. Here we have clean air, our famous cannoli. And then we are the city of illustrious men, writers, 
doctors, scientists. We also have extraordinary archaeological sites. Palike, 2,500 years old, home of King Dujetio and of the Sicilian people, even before the arrival of the Greeks. The caves of Caratapia, with its beautiful rocks carvings, depicting men and animals, the area of Camuti where there was the famous stone of poetry. In short, come and visit us, and you will not regret it. Let's hurry up, it's getting late. Here we meet another bizarre guy, also with an artistic vein, and with necklaces and bracelets all over his body. He is certainly the son of a pregnant mother, who sat on the stone. Then we enter the Luigi Capuana Culture Circus, who is full of children of mothers who have sat in the stone of Camuti. What a nice place, old furniture and an aristocratic charm. There is also a billiard table and a collection of old books. And here is also a beautiful antique photo of the womanizing poet Capuana. Then we continue the walk. We eat a tasty canola of Mineo with ricotta. Mmm, very good. And we arrive at the house of Luigi Capuana. The beautiful Antonella is our guide. Here is a marvelous picture of a woman with bare breasts at the entrance. The Capuana added fixation with women. This is a room with newspaper clippings preserved by the writer. They are the usual endless women. They are the objects that belong to him. Here is his desk and here are his books. And finally, the famous alcove of the Capuana Playboy. <laughs> okay, now let's go. Jack Jack Fly flies over the roofs of Mineo. The underlying plain of Catania extends as far as the eye can see. Once there were rivers and woods. Then the Romans came and put the weed in it. That window was the Bourbon prison. We descend from Via Ducezio, the Sicilian leader born in Mineo, who had his kingdom in Palike. Splendid tip! Palike is a water of rock that rises suddenly between the orange, rich plains of the area. It is one of the most evocative places in Sicily. It was the headquarters of the population, the Siculi. Their king Ducezio was born right here in the 6th century before Christ. Here there was also a cave, where there was a priest, and the gods were personified by two lakes of volcanic origin, which today are no longer there, but which were still visible until the beginning of the 20th century. Here are the gods in a video from the Istituto Luce. Then Mussolini reclaimed the lakes, and in the meantime a company was born, and the two gods are now imprisoned in bottles for the productions of soda water. Crazy! Two pagan gods are now water with bubbles. We are in Via Ducezio. Here's another mother who had to sit in Camuti's chair. Here her son, Giuseppe Bonaviri, was born, one of the greatest poets of the 21st century. Our guy shows us the memory museum, a beautiful immersion in the Sicily of the past. This was the naga, where the baby was put, and it was rocked by moving the string. Oops! This is still in child full of the bed. There are also some clothes that belong to our guide's parents, used for the filming of the film La Lupa. The waistcoat and the coppola, worn by Raul Bova, belong to my father. Okay, it's time to go. We leave a small offer and sign. Hello everyone, I'm Giovanna Battaglia and I'm Sicilian, but I was born and lived several years in America but the love for Sicily brought me back to this island. I am dedicating a good part of my life to the diffusion of the cultural customs and habits of my population. I'm doing it together with my illustrious colleagues of the cultural department of Smashing Sicily. 
We support ourselves with the love of those who follow us. And I'm asking you to make a donation in order for us to continue to live and for you to continue to watch us. Go to www.smashingsizzle.com on the support page or contact us. It's very simple. Thank you very much and hope to hear from you soon. Today, we decided to buy some Sicilian fast food and go eat it to Camuti. The stone was at the height of that tree and then it fell downstream. Okay, one stone is like another here in Camuti. They all are philosophical stones. Between one bite and another, and even without pregnant mothers in tow, we hope that we get the right inspiration to write this episode. Goodbye everyone from Ineo. Arancino, vino. Allora, uno qua. Ah, no, è uno qua. Allora, buon appetito. Buon appetito a chi magna.